Yeah. Win legs, baby. Let's go. Can I you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched. Words so gallantly streaming And the rockets that bear The bombs bursting in the proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, sing us that star spangled Experiences of you when you sang the national anthem, some place, some event. Obviously, Cubs World Series would be on the top. But if there's another one. Yeah, it would have to be singing in Twin Lakes. Uh. <laughs> True story. He asked me before this. He's like, all right, wh wh when do I got a plan for the flyover? He's like, all right, I'm going to go make some paper airplanes. We're going to get a Twin Lakes flyover going on. Hey, speaking of flyover, I've sung, I'm coming up on up to close to 5,000 times counting tonight singing this national anthem. I started a long time ago, obviously. But, uh, one day at Wrigley Field, there was a fly buzzing my head when I was singing, and I was, he, couldn't, he couldn't swat at him while I'm on TV, so, well, uh, yeah, I'm singing, and I take a big, deep breath. Oh. So I swallowed him, and then continued on with the anthem. That's how you do it. What, I do have a question. This, you might get this one a lot. At what point did your career start? Did you say, hey, I'm going to be a lawyer, doctor, I'm going to start singing and end up being an iconic national anthem singer? Yeah. And, you know, stuff just happens. Uh, I said yes to an opportunity to uh, sing for a Loyola University uh -huh. hockey game, and then that led to, uh, you know, a lot of other exposure. The Chicago Sting soccer team. Anybody remember those guys? Yeah. And then uh, went to the White Sox, spent 13 years with the Blackhawks every game at the old Chicago Stadium, including the uh, 1991 NHL All-Star Game, which was pretty legendary. And uh, then I've been with the Cubs for 33 years. And 23 years ago, I, uh, I teamed up with a couple of guys to start a little business called the Chicago Wolves hockey team, which has won four other championships. So that's for another hand. So it's been, it's been fun, but it brought me here tonight. And last question, because you're probably the only person I can talk to who might be able to give us insights in this. Tell us about the legendary Harry Carey. What's he like in person? Dead. <laughs> that's true. I bet he was a lot of fun. Yeah, when he was alive, he was a lot more fun. Uh, but Harry was, if he were here tonight, he would be the exact person that you would hope he would be and uh, probably have a lot of fun. Hey, you know, oh, years ago I used to come up here and the oh, you know, boy, twin links. Uh, Susie and Margie, I think, are the twin girls. Yeah, but he was so much fun and so respectful with everyone uh, with whom he worked. And uh, as was Jack Brickhouse, who preceded him. Uh, hey, hey, it's Jack Brickhouse. So, I've had a fun time. I'm thrilled that I'm here tonight. I'm going to sit with my wife. We're going to hold hands. David? See ya. Enjoy it. Mic check, mic check. Wayne Messer, ladies and gentlemen, come on up. Give us a really nice start to what should be a really memorable, fun show for all y'all.